Hey guys, welcome back to another video. We're here today in an Iranian F4 Phantom, uh, another theater of action where you know the F4 Phantom saw a lot of success was the Iran-Iraq War 1980 to 1988. A lot of people don't necessarily know this. They think the Phantom was mostly you know Vietnam action and all that. Um, in the Iran-Iraq War, it obviously didn't play a very massive air-to-air -air role. Uh, from my understanding, it did do some air-to-air, -air, but not as much as the F-14s and the F-5s and those guys were doing, but um, the F-4 was doing a lot of ground attack, uh, attacking the H-3 base. They hit the uh, Iraqi uh, Osirak, the nuclear reactor that was there. So the F-4s did uh, some pretty serious work during the Iran-Iraq war. I'm going over this mountaintop here, see if we can find some... Uh, Iraqis on the other side. The Iraqis are going to come here with MiG-21s, Mirage F-1s, um, you know, MiG-23s, all that kind of stuff. I don't know what we're going to find out here today, but uh, we're going to try to kill whatever we can find. And hopefully we can get some... Oh! That's a missile out on me. There's a F-1 on my radar. Mirage F-1 just shot a missile at me, so we're going to actually back out of this area. There he is. I can see the missile launch. I'm going to back out of here. We do have friendly units here, so I'll circle back around and see what we can find. Those F1s got the jump on me. I can see them way off in the distance there. There's a flight of four, maybe one or two of them committed onto me. Just break away a little bit, build up speed. Uh, in the F4 here, I'm going to try to do like slashing attacks, boom and zoom attacks, essentially. I don't really want to get into turn fights with anything out here. Uh, the MiG-21, also a very formidable opponent, even in this environment, for the F4. There's an F-14 there. The F-14s obviously saw massive success during this war. Scored many kills, many of them Phoenix kills actually. But there's an F-14 over there and that's why the F-1s look like they left. <laughs> there's no more F-1s here, at least none that I can see. Is there one off in the distance there? He's shooting at something. Let's go this way because the F-4s are dealing with everyone on that side. So let's see if there's anyone in the rear here. If there's anybody left. There's got to be like some MiG-21s or MiG-23s somewhere. And they couldn't have ran away that quickly. You see this guy up front here? This is a, this is a MiG-21. You can tell from the flare pattern. Go ahead and shoot a Fox-1 here. Fox-1. And it's tracking. Nice. Ooh, oh, wow. Wow, great hit. <laughs> they don't usually do that, the Sparrows. <laughs> Very nice. So, I don't know, I, I've kind of been flying around here a while now. I got some pings from MiG-21s in this area. So I came here, it looks like we got uh, SAM sites, I believe that's Shiraz to our left. And I see something flying up high, but I can't ID it. So we'll have to get a little closer. I think over that mountain area, is where we might find some Iraqi bandits. I'm gonna make 21 one o'clock according to the RWR. Did I just hear an aircraft go by? Did I just merge?
I'm pretty sure um, something that's a MiG-21 there's a MiG-21 on my 6 look at this he's dropping flares here as he goes by yep definitely merged with a MiG-21 that's fantastic try to use some of the vertical If there's anything out here most capable of dogfighting me from the Iraqi side, it's going to be that MiG-21. Uh, we are outrating him. Possible Fox one shot here. It didn't didn't track. Nope. And I've outrated him, and he is now defensive. I've got a six here. Fox two doesn't track. That is one lucky MiG-21. Another Fox two that doesn't track. Look at this guy. And now I'm getting too close to him. We're going to do kind of a high yo-yo. And if he climbs up here, he can kind of screw that up for me, which he did. Look at that. Alright. Well, this guy's got some problems. Oh, here he is, extending away. That's good. extends away here. I'm gonna get a Fox 1 shot at him if I can bring the nose around. I'm so slow. Fox 2. There it is. And unfortunately it doesn't track. Okay, he's extending away. He's had enough of the fight. It looks like he's seven miles off the nose now. Can't be seven miles away. We have the wrong bandit locked. There he is. Two miles off the nose. Three miles. Fox one. And it's tracking and he's defending. Come on, Sparrow, don't let me down. It missed. <laughs> it's going to hit the side of that mountain. Gotta love those things. You have a better chance throwing a rock at the other guy. Tone. Because he's cold and he's running away, it makes it much more difficult for the missile to hit him. You gotta get really close to him. I got him at two miles here. And he's trying to run away from me. You can't blame him either. I have his six. He tried to dogfight me. He failed. So he's extending away. You know, the, the logic is sound. Another Fox 1 here, and once again he's defending and that one doesn't even track. Like, it doesn't even try. <laughs> it just keeps flying straight. But his defensive maneuver here... Maybe lets me get it close enough to possibly take a Fox 2 shot at him here. If I can get Tone. Yeah, Fox 2. And I don't think he saw that launch. Yeah, he's dead. Splash 1, make 21. Finally got that guy. That guy almost got away. He really made a run for it. He had a strong will to survive. So there's supposed to be uh, some Mirage F1s out here. Those are F4 Phantoms out in front. And I see some stuff off in the distance there. But there might be a lot of friendlies involved in that little fur ball that's way off in the distance. Uh, but that flight of Phantoms looks like it's headed over there to see what's going on. And they definitely just killed something. Something just became a fireball off in the distance there. Let's head over there and see if we can find out what's going on all the way down there. Another incident 
with the F4 was the 1976 19th of September, I believe, the Tehran UFO incident, where uh, two phantoms actually chased an unidentified flying object. Uh, very interesting incident. If you haven't heard about it, I highly recommend looking it up. Some very cool things happened there. Um, something up high over here, which I believe to be a phantom. But I'm just gonna defend slightly just to be sure. It's kind of a chaotic environment, so if you can like sneak up behind somebody, you're almost guaranteed a kill. Uh, and I think... I don't know what that is. Is that a phantom over there? And he's got a MiG-21 on his tail. Just took a Fox 2 shot at him. And he got hit. We lost a friendly phantom there. Friendly phantom just got killed, so I'm gonna kill this MiG-21 who killed him. Fox 1. Four miles. Come on, you gotta track. Is it tracking? Oh yeah, nice. Splash one. <laughs> Tracked right into his face. All right. Well, at least we avenged the friendly phantom. We did lose one phantom here. And I'm going to extend away because I had to cash in a little bit of energy to take that shot. So I'm just going to drop the nose and we're going to fly away, bravely run away, if you will. And it's all about knowing when to fold your cards and when to come back, commit to a fight, when to run. Which you have to admit, that MiG-21 from a little bit earlier, he tried to exit and he had the right idea. He just got unlucky he didn't see that Fox 2 shot. Uh, we got quite a lot of action happening over there. Lots of flak in the air. So definitely a good place for us to head over and see what we can find. Staying low altitude once again. The Phantom is... it's a weird little aircraft because with aircraft at the time it actually could kind of dogfight but it really is kind of an interceptor. At least that's how it feels. Uh, what is this? That's a Mirage F1. Merged. Going vertical. Couldn't get a good lock on. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> okay, somebody shot him down. Thank you. Nothing like going vertical against the bandit you're about to dogfight, looking back and he's already on fire. <laughs> it's very comforting to see that. Well, once again, we'll reduce our altitude, get out of here. You want to get away from the crash sites. Kind of feel like they give you away. Or you can actually use them as bait too. You can set up a nice little ambush for guys who show up. Look at this, lots of flak down there. Let's head over there. Uh, we got a Mirage F1 on my 11 o'clock. Deal with that in a moment. Look at that. I can't quite ID a target that I want to go after. There's an F4 coming towards me, according to RWR. I don't see him. Oh, there he is. Popping flares as he goes over top. Okay. So it looks like he's extending out of a fight. There he goes. Uh, oh, somebody shot a missile right there. What is that? That's a twin tail, so that looks like an F-14. Somebody got killed. Nobody sees me, it looks like. I'm still safe. People are getting killed all around me. That's an F-14 up high. MiG-21 climbing vertical here. Right here, come on. Fox 1. There it goes. Yeah, it's tracking perfectly. Splash 1. Splash 1 MiG-21. Perfect hit on that guy.
sparrows are very satisfying when they connect because they got that nice smoke trail as it intercepts the bandit. It's very nice, very satisfying to see. All right, so that guy hit the ground. We still got lots of AAA fire. I don't really see, oh, here we go. I'm watching the AAA where it's converging. There's a bandit. I'm actually not gonna be able to turn with that guy. So I'm gonna commit vertical. We'll come around and we'll catch him on the other side. Let's go ahead and uh, do a loop. Should be back here somewhere. You can still see that AAA really pointing him out to me. There he is. I see you. Fox 1. That didn't track at all. That's a Mirage F1. Come on. Fox 1 again. And he's in this valley trying to run. Fox 1's tracking. Splash 1. Splash 1 Mirage F1. And that's it for me. I'm out of here. <laughs> that's a good day's work.